Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm the Book Geek, also known as Kiava, and today I want to talk to you about my reading goals for the new year, for 2021. I had such high hopes for myself for 2020, and I had all these things I wanted to do as far as reading and writing was concerned. And then COVID hit and really affected me and changed all my plans. Um, so I'm hoping in the new year that I can start fresh and um, I have some different things that I've been doing to cope and that seems to be working such as meditation and things of that nature to keep me on track. I'm someone who believes in astrology and based on some things that I've seen about the overall cancer sign for 2021. It's not looking good for cancers in 2021, okay? Um, as far as time management and staying on task is concerned. That was just like gener a generalization of the cancer um, sign for 2021. So I'm just taking that with a grain of salt <laughs> because I am someone who struggles with time management who struggles to stay um, focused, who struggles with routines, especially when I'm going through, through things. Um, typically, I'm a very organized person, but when I am going through things, you can forget about routines. All of those things go right out the window. I get discouraged very easily when I'm going through things and things are not going my way. So I'm hoping that, you know, that the little techniques and things that I'm using to cope will help me stick to my goals for the new year. So let's get into these goals for 2021. And these are just my um, reading goals. These are not my personal life goals. Um, I do have a vision board that is right in front of me that I look at every day and that helps keep me grounded. Um, I'm a college student right now and every day I want to fucking quit. <laughs> Every day I want to give up, but I keep looking at that vision board and there are certain places that I want to reach on that vision board that I haven't reached yet. And I know with my degree and advancement in my career, I can reach those places. So that is the only thing that's keeping me in school right now. <laughs> Cause I just, I'm, I don't like college especially now when I'm going through things and I can't concentrate. This has been my worst semester ever, which is why I'm taking two months off in the new year. I'm taking January and February off to recuperate, and then I'm gonna go back to classes in March. All right, so enough of that. Let's get into the book goals. So number one is to read 48 books. This has been my reading go for the past few years until I surpass this reading goal, I will not elevate that number. I have yet to pass 48 books. Sometimes I reach that, sometimes I don't. And so until I'm able to surpass reading 48 books, this will always be the number of books I'm going to try to reach for my yearly reading goal. So basically that's about four books a month, 48 books a year is about four books a month. So I can read a book a week. And so my next goal is to read for at least an hour a day. I want to set aside an actual time slot for me to read. So I won't, because my schedule is so wild sometimes, um, I won't say that I'm gonna read every day at like, a specific time. Like I'm going to read every day at two o'clock. I can't do that. But when I do find a break in my schedule or a time period when I have some free time or whatever, I'm going to set my timer for one hour, whatever time that may be. I'm going to set it for one hour and set aside at least an hour of a day to read uninterrupted, which brings me to my next goal, which is to read at least one chapter a day. So during the one hour of reading, I would like to get through one chapter 
of a book. Now, some chapters are longer than others in certain books. And because I tend to read multiple books at one time, if I finish one chapter in a book before the hour is up, I'm going to pick up one of the other books that I'm also reading and try to read at least one chapter in that book. Or if that one book that I'm reading is very, very good and I can't put it down, I'll just continue on to the next chapter. Nevertheless, the goal is to read at least one chapter a day. So I can read multiple chapters a day, it doesn't matter, as long as I'm reading at least one chapter a day. My next goal is to read an entire series. I would like to start and finish an entire series. I have the tendency to start a book series and I end up prolonging it. I don't wanna wait years and years and years to finish a book series. I have a tendency to start a book in a series, put it down, and then don't get to the next book probably into the next year or two years later. And then I don't remember everything that happened and I'm not the type of person who wants to go back and reread an entire series because I don't remember just so I can read the next book in the series. I don't wanna do that. So <laughs> I would like to not sit on books that I'm reading in a series for too long. That's basically the point. So one thing that I want to try is reading an entire series in one year. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> also, I would like to do more shared reading and more buddy reading with my oldest son. He is 11 years old. Um, we sometimes read books together, but once again, because I'm busy and my schedule is crazy, I'll end up um, not being able to read with him a couple nights out the week or whatever, and then he'll just go ahead and read the book without me, and he'll end up finishing the book without me, and it's like, that's, I mean, it's not, it's not his fault, it's my fault, because he's supposed to be reading every day, I should be reading every day too, but he has to read every day for school. But it's like, like for example, we were reading The Jumbies together, and then I got busy and sidetracked and started doing other things and he went along and finished the book without me. And now I'm left like, damn, I can't discuss it with him now because I didn't put in my part for the reading that we were doing. He did what he was supposed to do, but I didn't put in my part for the reading. So I had to sit there and listen to him tell me what parts of the story was about. And you know, it was too late. I didn't want to go back and start it all over from, from the beginning without him. Um, so I do want to do more shared reading and buddy reading with him. It's something that, you know, it's a bonding experience for us. It's something that he enjoys and I enjoy as well. We both enjoy reading and then we can read the book and discuss it. And maybe sometimes I can bring him on, um, the channel with me to talk about the book. We can review it together. That's an idea. My next goal is to read more books that I already own versus going out and buying books. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to be buying books next year. I'm not going on a book buying ban or anything of that nature. Book buying bans do not work for me, okay? But what I mean by reading more books that I already own versus going out and buying books is that I would like to give the books that I already own priority over the new books that are coming in. So sometimes I will go out and buy a book and I'll read that book right away. And I already have all these other books on my shelves that need to be read that have been sitting there. And instead of picking up one of those, I'll pick up the new book that I just bought. So that's what I mean. I know my books on my shelves are looking at me like, this bitch don't see us over here. She just went and got another new book. She just left us here on the shelf. Like, I just wanna give my older books more priority over the newer books that are coming in, if that makes sense. And all of the books that I go out and buy aren't necessarily brand spanking new, like 2020, 2021, 2019 books. They might be books from a few years ago, but it's still new to me. So I would still like to give the books that are old to me priority over the new to me books. I hope that makes sense.
Next year, I would also like to read a book that is more than 500 pages. Another goal of mine is that I would like to write more reviews. The reason why I stopped writing so many reviews was because I'm in school. And so um, writing reviews just seemed like more work. It seemed like homework, but we'll have to see. Depends on how well school is going for me. If school is a headache, I'm not gonna wanna write anything else because I have to already do enough writing with school. So we'll see how it goes. That might be a maybe go, but we'll see how things are going in the new year. Of course, another goal of mine is to read more horror. Okay, and my last goal is to utilize my TBR well more often. Preferably once a month, but I will be giving myself different challenges and what not to do um, throughout the year. So I may not be able to spin it each month, but I want to at least try spinning it every other month. Um, and I recently purchased a new physical will, so I won't have to use the um, online will anymore. And the TBR will is just a fun and interesting way for me to figure out what books I wanna read um, and to also get people who follow me involved in what books I read. So that's it. Those are all my goals for the new year for 2021. Fingers crossed that 2021 will be a better year. All of our problems are not going to disappear just because a new year is upon us. We are still going to be faced with all of this craziness that's going on in the world. COVID will still be here. Racism will still be here. Things are not going to change just because the new year is upon us, which that's very sad. I wish it would change. Um, but let's just hope and pray that um, things are not as crazy as they were in 2020, because I'm telling you every month it was something in 2020. It's been a roller coaster. It's been nuts. It's been crazy. I myself have been affected. So, I'm hoping that everyone has a spectacular new year. Um, here's to peace and prosperity. <laughs> um, to your health in 2021. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.